seek God and live. These are the prophetic words of Amos as he speaks to the nation of Israel. And these are the prophetic words that God is speaking to you today. God is looking, going forth to and fro throughout the earth, looking for a man, a woman who will seek him, who will Shaka will give all of their life uh, to seek him. Then he will come and his glory will begin to work in you. He will begin to rebuild the foundations in your life. Uh, that is why God wants to transform us. And that is what this series is all about. Uh, and so in Isaiah, we read these words. Look carefully. Darkness blankets the earth. The thick gloom covers the nation. Not a pretty picture, is it? It's not a picture that we want to talk about today. As we look at our society, we see every day the darkness getting stronger and stronger. We see a gloom coming over the earth. You know, the tragedies that are happening through the coronavirus, through the laws that the governments are bringing in, and Isaiah prophesies this word and he says, look carefully, darkness covers the earth, the thick gloom covers the nation, but, I love the buts of the Bible, but Yahweh arises, hallelujah. You know, if we follow God's word from the day of creation right through to the day, we read that there were many darkness periods, uh, but in all of those darkness, uh, the one who said in Genesis chapter 1, uh, let there be light, uh, is still saying that today. He's saying it to you today, right now. My light, uh, my light, uh, my light uh, will shine through you. Hallelujah. But Yahweh arises upon uh, the brightness of his glory. And this glory, this glory will appear over you. This glory will cover you. This glory is God beginning to remove the darkness through you. You will become his ambassador to this earth. You know, Psalm, uh, sorry, Isaiah chapter 60 and that verse 2 that we read there says, Behold, the darkness shall cover the earth and deep darkness the people, but the Lord will arise over you and his glory will shine upon you. Listen, the Gentiles, the world shall come to the light and king's governments uh, to the brightness uh, of your arising. You say that won't happen today. Go and read history, my friends. Uh, go and see what happened uh, when uh, Israel were in bondage in Egypt. Go and see what happened uh, when Israel were in bondage in Babylon. Uh, go and see what happened uh, under the hands of Elijah, under the hands of David, uh, under the hands uh, of uh, Samuel. Uh, go and see and look at history uh, and you will see that there was great darkness uh, but in the midst of that darkness uh, God came and brought light hallelujah God came and uh, brought light we see this uh, when Israel were delivered from Egypt and they were in the wilderness uh, and here is what uh, God spoke uh, to Moses uh, as you seek God you see this is the key for you and I as we seek God uh, we will see the deep 
parts uh, of our spirit beginning to cry to go deeper into the presence of uh, of Almighty God. That's what God is looking for today. He's looking for men and women who will seek him, who will cry out to him. And when we begin to seek him, when we begin to look only to God and not to our environment, all of a sudden, deep inside in our spirit, deep within the parts of our spirit will begin to cry. As as is Israel cried in Egypt. Our spirit will begin to cry, which will usher in the presence of Almighty God. Listen to this, church. Listen to this. In uh, Exodus chapter 33 uh, and verse 12, it says, Then Moses, let me go back to verse 7. It says, Moses took his tent and pitched it outside the camp. If you want uh, to be the light uh, to this nation of yours, uh, if you want even more important than that, uh, if you want to see the sin within your life, the rejections within your life, uh, the defeats within your life, uh, if you want to see them being removed, uh, Seek God, seek God, seek God. Go and find a presence. Go to a place that is away from your media. Go to a place that is away from people. You know, I used to go down to the park not far from me. I'd rise at 4 a.m. in the morning, go there and be alone. This is what Moses did. He took himself away from the concerns of the world. He took himself away from the whinging of Israel, and he would go outside the camp, outside the darkness into the tent that he had pitched into the presence of almighty God this is what we need to do verse 12 says then Moses said to the Lord you say to me bring up this people you know don't we say that to God and we go before God and we say God why why is the coronavirus why are governments bringing laws to kill our unborn babies. Why, why, why? Why aren't there miracles today? We pray for the sick and they're not healed. Why is this happening, God? This is really what Moses was saying here. And yet Moses was living in the midst uh, of God's presence. Moses was living in the midst of, uh, of outbreaks of revival, of healing, of provision. You know, go back to Exodus 3 and the burning bush experience. Now they're in the wilderness uh, and God is providing. He, he opened the Red Sea. He destroyed the enemy. He, he provided water that came forth from a rock. Uh, and uh, he's providing food and yet Moses goes before God and says uh, you say to me bring up this people but you have not let me know whom you will send with me you know we don't need to know the path uh, God said to Abraham go to a land I'll show you he didn't tell him what the land was he said, go, it requires obedience. Yes, you may not be seeing the miracles around you, but God is saying, arise, go. Yes, you may not be seeing the church in victory, but God is saying to you, arise and go. Wow, our time has gone. And we've only just started uh, looking at this powerful chapter. We'll come back to it on Monday. Bless you. It's a joy to share with you every morning. Go forth in the victory of God. Invite your friends to come and be part of this series. Uh, well, Prophet Tom, have a powerful weekend. <laughs>